of young women are changing the way history is taught in Denver Public Schools. The students in Martin Luther King Early College helped create curriculum that includes Black, Latino, Asian, and Indigenous history. It's expected to be adopted next month. CBS 4's Michael Abeda is at their school tonight. Michael, how did this idea come about? Well, Karen, it all started with a trip to Washington, D.C. and the African American History and Cultural Museum. For all lives to matter, we must commit to Black Lives Matter because in our educational system, we have consistently left our black students and black team members behind. These young black women are making history in Denver. They helped develop a new curriculum for Denver Public Schools while they're still students themselves. Last year, they went on a trip with their classmates at Martin Luther King Jr. Early College to the African American History and Culture Museum. It changed my life, and I feel like every person that was on that trip, life was changed as well. While they were there, they learned black history that isn't being taught to them in school. Not only slavery and segregation, but also stories about the positive contributions black people have made to America. These are examples that came before you that can inspire you that are doing things that seemed impossible. When they got back, they wanted to share those lessons with their peers. I feel like it's really detrimental to a kid's education. It can be really detrimental to a kid's mental space to not be able to see anything positive. Learning about your own history gets kids out of depression and it moves them to actually get to see people that look like them, see role models like them. They helped create a resolution to add comprehensive historical and contemporary contributions of black, indigenous, and Latino communities to the DPS curriculum. They hope it will inspire their peers the same way it inspired them. We also want to inspire our people to lead for good and for the good of all people. Now again, that resolution is expected to pass in October. Those women also created a podcast and web show of the same name, No Justice, No Peace. That's K-N-O-W Justice, K-N-O-W Peace. If you're not a DPS student and you'd like to learn or hear what they're talking about, you can tune into that. In Denver, Michael Avita, covering Colorado First.